picked up this kitchen. Um, this is only half of it. It's a very big kitchen. I can only use a few cabinets in the cabin. But the wood I can use for other things as well. It's all very high quality. All made of wood. Um, 33 years old, I believe the guy was saying. And uh, a lot of people are just getting rid of those, you know. Um, we had them too, like my parents had a kitchen like this when I was a child, all made of wood, very high quality, but um, it's dated, you know. But I think with some work it will fit nicely in here. So I'm um, going to pick up the rest later this week and probably store it somewhere. I think some parts of the bathroom I can also make out of this, so yeah.
Okay, first board is ready. It's a bit of work because of all the shaping to make it fit nicely with the stones. This is a bit unconventional too, but there's going to be sockets on the wall here and there next to the kitchen. So that's why these ones are for. To make another one there. So I can actually hide cables for light and sockets into the floor. And there's going to be copper pipes as where they'll be protected in and then the socket is going to be on the wall right here.
vent is falling apart. There's been so many storms the last weeks. Holes are broken. Fabric is starting to break apart as well again. Um, autumn has been a bit worse than last year. It's time to move because tomorrow is going to snow quite a bit I think. First, first snow, first big snow. Um, so I'll probably move in already. But the floor isn't ready. It's going a bit slower because it's a lot of work. Um, it's making it fit nicely. But I can probably put a mattress in um, because the tent it just needs to be dry. If it's snowing tomorrow, I can't take it down. So I'll do that today. So that was the last night in the tent. I'm ready to move.
end of an era. I've been living in a tent for about one and a half years. I remember building the deck in June last year. I remember the first night. It's a really beautiful view on the property here, especially if I had the tent open. Uh, so you have mesh all around. You can see the car and the houses, solar panels and the beautiful mountains. It's one of the best spots on the property, I'd say. And together with the outdoor kitchen and shower, it's just been a great place to live, especially in summer, autumn as well. Um, just every morning coming out of the tent with this view. It's just incredibly beautiful. Because you are in nature every day, so you're so much in tune. You see the changes very up close and they're very visible. Especially in spring and autumn when there's every day just a little bit of change of color. It's been amazing. And also in winter, it's been great. Um, the wood stove, I, I was able to keep it really warm inside and um, I just had to prepare things a little bit better, you know, like about half an hour before I stopped working. Make a fire so things can heat up and when the, the working day is finished, I would be in a warm tent. And, uh, and then the evenings were, were great. I've been painting, I've been working inside. Um, even with snow and freezing weather, it was fine. It's just the mornings that were difficult because you can't keep it warm. Um, the fire will die down and then in the morning it's freezing cold so that was the difficult part also having breakfast here in the winter which is very cold because the sun comes up around 10 11 and it takes a while before it gets a little bit warm here so um, yeah and then it was mostly difficult when it was freezing during the night and also during the day so everything in the kitchen freezes also the, the fridge the fridge is still working though after two winters um, so that's good but things like olive oil everything that is in the fridge at some point it just freezes and it just creates a lot of problems water taps freeze of course um, not to speak about the storms which has been uh, quite stressful Last autumn it wasn't this as bad as this autumn, but especially in March with the big storms what that broke down the camp. Um, and then any time when it was very windy, it's just stressful to be in a tent. It was not a good place, but all in all, um, it's just been a great part of this uh, uh, homesteading project. I'm also ready to move in, especially now with winter. It's going to be really nice to be able to be warm all day. Um, yeah.
This is nice. Um, it's not very warm here yet because I'm not making the fires too big, but right here it's nice and warm. The fire died down about two hours ago, but it's still very hot. Uh, the stones, this is about 50 degrees, and then here it's 30, 20. So um, it works, but it needs quite big fires, especially now in the beginning when everything is still cold to warm it up. But I want, don't want to get it too warm here because I'm working and I'm going inside and outside. So at 10 degrees now is nice. Once I move in, I'll make bigger fires. Um, yeah, the floor is going a little bit slow. It's a lot of work with the electricity. And now that I find out that the boards are squeaking a lot, so I am going to uh, glue everything with a lot of glue. And um, a little bit sick, nothing major, just a winter cold. I have it almost every winter. So um, I have to take a bit slower. I'm going down to the valley, staying in an Airbnb because sleeping here, it's just... Uh, it's a bit chaotic because the tent is down and all my stuff is in bags and boxes everywhere. Uh, it's a little bit chaotic, but once this floor is in, I can start on the kitchen. Things are going easier. And when I've got the sink and water and I can... Basically when the kitchen tabletop is on, I can also cook here. And then it becomes a bit easier because now I have to go up and down for uh, cooking. Just keep going, you know. 